Hello guys. So now we shall be discussing in detail regarding the right atrium. Okay. So a topic of discussion would be regarding the right atrium. Now in this right atrium, let us see what are the important structures. But before that, let me draw the picture here. So all of you know that this is your structure of the heart. This is just an outline structure of the heart which I am giving you right now. Okay. Now in this structure of the heart, this part of the heart which you can see here is called as your right atrium. Right. Now in this right atrium, what I am going to do is that all of you know one basic thing that there is a vein that is opening on the top and in the same way there is a vein that is opening on the bottom. Right. So the vein that is getting opening on there is an opening of the vein on the top as well as there is an opening on the bottom. So the top one you call it as superior vena cava and the lower one you call it as inferior vena cava. Okay. So superior vena cava and you have also got your inferior vena cava. Now what I am going to do here is that I am going to make a cut incision like this. Okay. And I'm going to remove it like a flap, right? So what do I mean by that is that, for example, if this is the atrium, okay, this is the atrium, right atrium. In this right atrium, the vessel on the top here you have got is the right uh, superior vena cava. The bottom one is called as the inferior vena cava. Now what I'm going to do, so see even you have got your opening here, superior vena cava opening and you have got your inferior vena cava opening. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut this part over here, till here. Okay, after cutting this part, what I will do is that I will open this part like this. Okay, so when I'm opening this part, you can see inside what are the things and structures that are located within the atrium. Yes or no? So those are the things we shall be doing right now. Right, so another image, I, I already have kept it here. I hope this is clear. So what they have done over here, that is they have made an incision all the way like this deep into the muzzle and then they have cut open this part over here, right? So this is how the inside cavity of your right atrium looks. So let us just have a quick recap that this right atrium is having two parts. Okay. What are those two parts? See, this is one part. This is part number one and the inside one is part number two. There are two parts. So tell me out of one and two, which is rough, which is smooth. Obviously part one is rough. So that is why this part is called as anterior wall. It is also called as a rough anterior wall and the second one is called as a smooth posterior wall. Okay. So you have got two parts over here. What are those two parts? One is called as your rough anterior wall and the smooth posterior wall. So let me write it up here. So there are two parts. What are those two parts? You have got the rough or the anterior wall. And next you have got the smooth or the posterior wall, rough anterior wall as well as the smooth posterior wall. Okay. Next important thing, next important thing what you have got is that. So let me draw the structure of the atrium over here so that it will be easy for you to understand. But before that, let me draw the superior vena cava first. So this is your superior vena cava. Okay. All of you are aware of this. Now this is how the uh, heart starts I mean the right atrium looks okay let me complete the picture and you'll understand completely this is your inferior vena cava right now I'm cutting open this heart right so when I open up this is how it looks This is how it looks. Okay. And inside here, you have got what? You have got these uh, pectinate muscles, right? So, inside here, obviously, you have got the muscles like this. These are the muscles which are located like this, right? And in the left atrium, what did I tell you previously? That there is an extra outgrowth of left atrium, right? So, this is a picture I hope which I have given it to you that the right auricle is having some extra outgrowth right and this is called as uh, repeat so what did i told you previously i told you previously that the right atrium has got an extra outgrowth and that is called as right auricle right so exactly this is that outgrowth over here 
so it has got some extra outgrowth in this way and this outgrowth is called as what this is called as your right auricle so it, this is having some openings like this clear so while the remaining part is completely closed and there are some openings like this i hope this is clear for you right now and next important thing is that see this part over here which you can see here this is called as a septal cup of tricuspid valve what is this septal cup of tricuspid valve septal cup of tricuspid valve right the next important thing all of you know that this is superior vena cava over here and this is called as your inferior vena cava and you have seen the muscles over here these muscles over here are called as pectineal muscles or musculus musculus pectinati these are called as musculus pectinati right next important thing is that all the way from the superior vena cava all the way from the superior vena cava you can see that there is a line that is coming all the way down till the inferior vena cava yes or no so if this is your inferior vena cava and this is your superior vena cava all the way from superior vena cava down there is a line that is coming down yes or no so this dark line over here which you can see which is coming down all the way till the inferior vena cava so what is the name of this line this is also called as crista terminalis what is the name of this this one is called as crista terminalis this is called as crista terminalis and if you look at the upper part of the crista terminalis this upper part of the crista terminalis is having some green color node and this node is called as your sa node so upper part has sa node what is it having it is having sa node on the upper part and by the way i forgot to mention that this part over here is called as your right auricle and again i am telling that extra outgrowth which you also called as appendage appendage okay so that is called as your right auricle over here right so these are some of the important things which you need to know and second important thing which you need to know here is that so you can see this oval round saucer shape like thing right so this part i am exactly talking about so this part which you can see here which is saucer shape which is saucer shape structure this saucer shape structure you call it as fossa ovalis i hope all of you know what is fossa ovalis right so on the uh, in the interatrial septum we have got something called as fossa ovalis right and fossa ovalis is formed by septum primum or septum secundum it is formed by septum primum septum primum okay and you already know that fossa ovalis later on what is fossa ovalis during the fetal time what was it actually it is actually foramen ovale which has converted into fossa ovalis so this is foramen ovale so there is something called as foramen ovale during the fetal life and after the birth this foramen ovale converted back into fossa ovalis and who is forming this this is formed by septum primum okay next important thing is that you can see a round shape thing here this pink color line which i'm drawing right now see this round one so what is it forming it is forming the upper part and it is forming the lateral part this part which i'm talking exactly right now this is called as the limbus limbus of what limbus of this fossa ovalis it is the limbus of fossa ovalis so how is the limbus formed limbus is forming the superior part as well as the lateral part of the fossa ovalis and limbus is formed by what limbus is formed by your septum secundum septum secundum okay and limbus forms what limbus forms the superior and the lateral part of what lateral part of fossa ovalis superior and lateral part of fossa ovalis this is what i want you to remember at the end clear right next important thing is that there is a very very important triangle which all of you have to know what is this triangle see exactly here there is a small opening okay this small opening which is located over here is called as coronary sinus 
coronary sinus. Next important thing is just above this coronary sinus here you have got a ligament like this. Okay. So this ligament over here you call it as ligament or tendon of torad. You call it as what? Tendon. You call it as tendon of what? Todaro. Tendon of Todaro. Okay. So this is a tendon that is located. Now exactly here if you closely look can you find a triangle like this? Right. So this triangle is having three borders. What are they? One it is having is septal cup of tricuspid wall. Second it is having is coronary sinus. The second one. Third one it is having is tendon of Todaro. So all these three things together they form a small triangle that is located here. This is called as triangle of coach. What is this triangle called as? This triangle over here is called as triangle of coach. Okay. So what are the things we have discussed guys? Actually this is in the form of a book. We have just opened the book. The left hand side whatever is there that is called as your musculus pectinati. Okay and next we have got crista terminalis over here. The upper part of the crista terminalis is having what? It is having this particular node called as SA node. Okay and down if you see here you have got a saucer shaped thing and that is what is called as your fossa ovalis. Okay and this fossa ovalis is having a round limb like thing over here and this is called as what? Limbus of fossa ovalis. Okay, limbus and fossa ovalis forms the superior and the lateral part of fossa ovalis. So, the important things if I have to highlight it here guys. So, triangle of coach. Okay, so this is one of the very important thing you need to understand. Triangle of coach. And next important thing is crista terminalis. Where is it? You have to know. And you should also know coronary sinus, tendon of torad and septal cup of tricuspid valve. Okay. So these are all some of the important things which you need to know regarding the right atrium. Thank you so much for watching my video. Goodbye.